I'm a beautiful rainbow beard. Do you know what? I'm quite chuffed with it. I'm not gonna lie. We have hit 40k. Yay! We are very, 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 Finally. very, very happy about that. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who is a subscriber on our YouTube channel. We really appreciate every single one of your supports. And you, well, I you dared myself. Possible. Yeah. I'll dye my beard rainbow if we get to 40k in the next month. Are you joking? Well, that's actually very possible. No, it's not. And then it happened. So, you know. And when we get to 50, I'll be doing my... Uh, You're Alexis. getting into drag. <gasps> I did eat quite a lot of glitter <laughs> to do this. Is it tasty? Um, if I said it tastes gay... Talk about hay fever. You've got gay <laughs> fever. As you know, we've been doing Young Royal Season 3. Yeah. It's now the penultimate episode. Overall, Willie and Simone, you know, I, I, I worry because I just think there's I a lot of doubts. separation uh, going on. There's a lot, there's a lot of things that Wilhelm needs to process right now. Mm. Before we begin, remember, if you want to check out all of our exclusive uncut content, head on over to our Patreon because it's all over there. And, you know, while you're at it, also check out some merch because we've got that. All right. All right. Big deep breaths. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared for you because you can inhale glitter. Yeah. <gasps> no, I don't want to relive this. I didn't want to actually hear it. Relive oh, it, honey. Hello. Hello. Wait a minute. I guess I. I love you, baby. You're so easy to read. <laughs> well, I think it is difficult though, because if if um, if your boyfriend or your best friend or someone like that is is clearly down down like that, mm. it's tricky to bring them out and to it is to know what to say. Sandwich helps always. What kind of sandwich? But you always ask what kind. If I go no, cake, I'm, you go no, what kind I'm, of I'm cake? I'm gonna see myself in the moment. Okay. So I want to know what the sandwich right, is. Right, you're really sad. I'm having cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to cut it. Oh, it's no, fun. I know. No, I know. It's you're really fun. sad. You're really sad. Do you want a turkey, pigs, and blanket, and cranberry sauce Christmas? Yeah! yeah! Christmas sandwich! Yeah, Christmas, Christmas sandwich! Som tar hand om Fredrika, Edith, Louise och Madison. Sen har vi grupp två, varmrätten, Agnes. <laughs> Would you rather do starters, mains or desserts? Starters. Oh, you're so wrong. You always want to do desserts. No! You can't fuck up. You can. <laughs> I've seen some of your cakes. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> no, stop being mean. Let her hang out with Sarah and, you know, mend things. She's with an earshot as exactly, well. Exactly, I mean, they're so saying it right in front of her. I think he's going to read it in his own voice or something. You really have a thing about people reading things in shows. Wait, is he putting it in Wilhelm's <gasps> locker? You should She's lean on your loved ones, yeah, though. She's too proud. Because I'd hate it if my parents, like, completely cut me out of any information <clears throat> about, like, their well-being like that. Like, you should... But you also need to respect their space. If, you you know. do, but also he's old enough to, like, be told things. I was a living clown. And I didn't do that much, you know what I'm Oh, mm, timing, hon. I was perfect. Sure? Hello. Yeah, they were American. Maybe he's, like, trying to get a second opinion. To reassure himself that Eric was the person that he actually knew. I think part of it is also him worrying that that's what he becomes because he looked up to him as like a role model. Uh, Simo, you're, you're, but also, uh, like, they're both in. Re oh. Oh no. Bob Karen. What are the Brunis? Yeah, man. Yeah. Känner mig verkligen inte bekväm med att uppträda. 
You're gonna be the king, though. För det känns som att du tycker jag är jobbig för att jag frågade om födelsedagen eller något. På invigningen. Han var, han var en av 300 som var där som höll i det. Det här är exakt varför jag inte har sagt någonting. För jag, jag vet inte ens själv vad jag tänker om det. Du behöver verkligen inte att du dömer honom också. Jag har inte sagt något. Nej, men jag ser vad du tänker. This is Wilhelm's challenge is that he he doesn't say anything. And then when he finally goes, okay, I want to talk about it. It's like blah 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 blah. blah. And often ends up snapping at the person who's trying to like support him. And I think as well, I didn't catch this until now, but the writers of the show have really made it very full circle in a way, because we start off with them both being the target of an inappropriate video, and it's now got to the end of season three, Interesting. and it's now one of the royals was responsible for. An inappropriate video. A video. Yeah, and it's like, and also, you know, it must be, I'm thinking about it, probably it's hard for Simon because he's also been a victim of that. Mm. And so now you've got to like tell, oh yeah, also I just found out my brother did the same thing. Like, oh. Det är någonting jag har lärt mig med hela den här situationen och Sara och allting så är att syskon också kan fucka upp. Så du kan inte jämföra Erik och Sara, du har inte rätt att göra det. Det gjorde jag inte. Jo. Oh, come on. Men hon har försökt göra någonting Skitsa, bra. Skitsamma, jag, jag orkar inte. Kan vi bara... Jag orkar inte, Simon. Men kan vi bara snacka? Oh. Oh, no. It's, they're not gonna be together by the end of this. And it's already making me sad. Simone there was so emotionally intelligent to try and just support him by drawing on his own experiences and being like, hey, I think I've been in a similar situation. Like, you can't... You can't be too hard on yourself and on Eric, and he's just like, no, yeah, yeah. he still love him, but Willem is still a little bit stubborn. Because I'm scared. I don't. I'm almost terrified to watch any more. <gasps> well, we're gonna. <laughs> Jag vill verkligen veta vad som är sant och inte i allt det här. Du såg hans bra sidor. Simon har liksom inte gjort det. Han var den rimliga, han var den jag kunde lita på. Han var min bror och nu... Nu vet jag liksom inte ens om han hade tyckt om det. But you know what? You've got to be your own person. And like, you can spend ages thinking about what other people would have thought. And if you never know the answer, then what is the point in pouring yourself over it? Like this endless thought. Be the person you want to be, and the, and stick by your rights and values. Like you know, it's very much this thing you can't. And I guess it kind of plays into like you know, I guess younger people who grow up with parents who maybe have you know quite conservative values or siblings who are the same, and knowing, you know, just because they think these things doesn't mean I have to, and I can forge my own opinions on things and be as good a person as I want to be. Like, it's really the sim same thing there. Like, I think he thinks so much about this, but what about them? What about them? And it's like, mm. girl, remember him how you want to remember him and be the person you want to be. Stop, you know, putting that on on things you can't control. It's true. But you did say is how, you know, he looked up to him as a role model. He did. And to have that kind of, that image. It's... Difficult to kind of realize it, but that gives you room to carve out an image for yourself. Like, that's all I can say to it, because... Uh, and this is what you came up with. I know, this is what I carved out. Fuck it out. Lila med glitter. Oh, no. <sighs> Honey. Oh. It's annoying when you just sometimes, you know, she's worked hard to try and rely on him and trust him, and that is a punch in the gut. Te queda perfecto. Tack, mom. Yep, looking sharp. Okay. Jag försöker alltid finna stöd för honom, men vad jag än gör så, alltså blir det fel. Jag tror att han är en tremendo, tremendo chico. There's a butt coming. Pero el amor. Det ska inte vara så svårt. Oh, 
It pains me to agree with her, but she's right. <laughs> oh, this is... I'm sad it had to happen this way, but this is good for them. We've got to stick together, you guys. Yeah, she can drive him to school now. Wear them. Wear them. Wear them. Wear them. <laughs> There's these things that I think a lot of sometimes when we watch queer media and we try to kind of like understand things or, or we're able to relate to like either certain storylines or like visual things that happen. One thing that I can relate to so well is that right there. It's the first time that you may have put on nail varnish right and it is a uh it's an expression of yourself but a lot of people think it, it's for guys it's too you know this this archaic view of it being too feminine and i've been in situations where you know oh god because and that nervousness and that oh, fear whoops. of yeah absolutely and i think a lot That's of young true. queer people experience that and that is one it is yeah fun. Like, it's, it's fun, fun. but i yeah. when i've just seen that there i was like oh i know it's Exactly what that is. What that mm. that moment of anxiety and panic oh, is for a young person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's bad. Bad. We need the dill. I thought she was making desserts. What does she need dill for? Dill cake. Cumpleaños <laughs> feliz. How do you get in the room? Use the door, I think. Shit, security guard. Hooray! Aww. Jag fick muta Malin bara. Yeah. Ah, fucking hell! Allt okej mellan oss. Is it? I don't know, babe. Ja. Tack för ditt sms. Jag har bara inte vunnit att fixa klart än. Det är helt perfekt. What is it? Bread? It's a sandwich! Awww. Oh. It remember... got his turkey and ham sandwich. Because remember in the... He brought him one. He yeah. brought him a... Awww. Imagine that though. Like, you know, people go, oh my, you know, my husband and I, yeah, our like thing is is diamonds. What did he get you? What did you have thing? in your thing? It's a sandwich. Oh, oh. oh. white bread or brown? <laughs> hey, Villa, yeah. trevligt. Hey, on one of our Villa. Crumpets, Villa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Someone has to be <laughs> det är antingen han eller jag som åker tillbaka till Ilerska. Okay. Jag vet ju att det är lite spänt mellan dig och kronprinsen. Så jag tänker att eh, du behöver inte komma till slottet. Man tar bara studenten en gång i livet, eller hur? Why does everything in this show happen on the same day? Does anyone look at a freaking calendar? She's alive. Some minutes to go. Gratis, Pierre Wilhelm. Are we gonna Are we gonna introduce? Oh god. med oss idag. Välkommen. Tack. That is surreal. Is that surreal? Yeah, because watching his mum and Simon shake hands is like, <coughs> you know, she spent two seasons being like, deny, deny, <laughs> and, like and now she's one. like. Ee! <laughs> no, I think I think this is like meeting any any old parent of a boyfriend or girlfriend. Do I you know I've only ever met one of my partner's parents? Did you shake their hand? No. Hug? Yeah. Hug's good. Hug's good. I don't think you would hug the queen. No. But like, hugs, hugs. Good. Work, Mama Slay. <laughs> like, Get him out. <laughs> right. I am. Um, I. Th it's bubbling. What it is, is bubbling is right now. I don't what know, but I can feel it bubbling. It's like, you toilet, know. Toilet and troubling. So, um... Oh, this is too awkward for me! We... I'm really scared! Why, <laughs> lovely candles. I love the dill. That's not dill. Mint. So, um, have you got music in your from? Yeah. Tip. Mama, uh, gillar att lyssna på music. He's doing so well. Wilhelm used to like 
Yeah, but she's not engaging and he doesn't like that. Men gjorde Erik också, han var väldigt duktig pianist. Ja. Och så spelade han tvärflöjt. Oh, okay. Don't make it about Erik though. Make it about... I think he wants to be like, he was not perfect! Ursäkta. No, we don't leave him at the dinner table. Oh no, you can't leave him with the king and the queen! This one? Oh, that's Class Dilf, Dilf Hunter. Hunter. You get that. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she has it on Thank her you, person. Okay. Don't give it back. Oh. För att jag vill inte läsa. Att du genom hårt arbete och disciplin lyckats förvandla dig från den taniga, rädda lilla ettan som alla körde med på invigningen. Du har gått upp, rejält i muskler. Du har slutat gråta, du har lärt dig bita ihop. Och du har skaffat att jag ville vara, jag vet inte ens om jag vill det längre, jag vet inte vad det är som jag är. I know, but sometimes people just need to be brace, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. She's gonna go tell Felice. Han sa snälla lämna mig inte med dina föräldrar. Ja. För att det känns inte som att jag borde vara här. Det är typ dålig stämning. Vadå inte borde vara här? Jag behöver dig här. I don't feel like this is gonna go well. He's gonna be thinking what his mum said. Shouldn't be this hard. Jag tror faktiskt att jag ska tacka för mig. Jag... Är det så jävla jobbigt att sitta här och äta en lite hemma tårtbit? Om vi vill en... Eller vadå? Alltså... Förlåt, men kan vi... Sluta spela teater nu. Det är ingenting som är normalt efter Eriks död. <laughs> Nej, det är klart. Tror att jag tycker det, eller? Men det, det är liksom inte hela sanningen. Det har aldrig varit normalt för oss. Jag fick liksom inte ens sörja i fred med er. Hela jävla Sveriges sorg var viktigare. Det enda du har brytt dig om, det är hur jag ser ut och hur jag ska vara som kronprins. Då lämnar du mig helt jävla ensam. Ja, men Willem, det räcker nu. Och du! Då låter mamma bete sig hur hon vill och skiter i mig. Jag talar inte så till din far. Jag och talar inte så fan, till jag vill till er, ni heller. mina fucking föräldrar. Ni ska finna det här för mig. Det är faktiskt inte så lätt att vara både din mamma och din chef. Nej, jag märker det, för du är lika jävla kast på båda två. Holy taxi! I guess, I guess, uh, shit hit the fan. I am so conflicted about that. He's not wrong. He's not wrong about a lot of what he said. And as much as I can respect that his mum went through shit, she did just kind of like... Feed him to the wolves. Yeah, and also like in her mind, it's only her that was allowed to grieve. And, you know, he's constantly being feeling compared to Eric because that's all she talks about. And she made no effort with Simone. So I agree with a lot of what he's saying. But then he went too far. The delivery could have been more sensitive. He went too far. I, I don't, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I don't think they should be in a relationship together. Ooh. Uh, this is how Ooh. I feel now. And this is what I feel <clears throat> it's been coming to. Is that, because I'm sorry, that look on Simone, I've seen that look. And that is a no. It's like shock, I think, that it, look. It's, it's like a, disbelief. It's a disbelief situation. that the person that you felt so much for could behave in such a way. Yeah. I would be the same. But is the answer really to just walk away from Yeah. That? Absolutely. Or at least be like, you, I love you, but... Just take a break. You need to figure your yeah. shit out. Mm. And as much as, especially as like young queer people, we... We do hold a lot of anger and fear because of the experiences that we have to go through. But you can't just lash out because then it's like two wrongs don't make a right. You're no better than, than, than that which you are angry about. Oh, I think it's coming. Yeah. Oh, no. I think it's coming too. Jag, jag tycker det är bra att du är ärlig mot dina föräldrar. Men sen ser jag bara ut. Allt bara skadar dig. Och det skadar mig. Förlåt Simon. Du blir någon annan. Jag känner inte igen dig. 
My heart ripping right now. I can feel it. it. Takes it takes a lot of guts to to say something like that, even when it's oh. you know it goes against every everything that you want to to come to that realization and go. You know what? This just doesn't. But that's what it is. Me. This is exactly how he said it. It's hurt. It's watching. It's watching them both feel this pain and not being able to. You know, we, we've all been in in these situations where we've had to say goodbye to something that we don't want to, but you know it's right. Oh, that is just like, ah. Oh. But I suppose for them as well, being young and feeling vulnerable to the effects of being young and queer and, and you know, kind of dealing with that, it's even harder because you're like, I had something so beautiful and it's just breaking me and I can't do it. I mean, fuck that for putting this in the cliffhanger for, I know. and then and then making making everyone wait. I a week. understand a now week. all the messages that were just like, nah. I can't do it. Like, <gasps> but like, oh. maybe that means that there's hope for the finale. Is there? Where is it? Because I don't know. Like, what is? Is there a happy ending here, or is this like, right? I don't know. Maybe we'll get like a. 20 years later, and they're all... Yeah, <laughs> someone shacked up with Marcus. <gasps> no! I'll yeah. kill him! <laughs> well, you happy? Because I'm not. I'm not. No. Not really. Makes the glitter beer look a bit silly now, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you for watching with us. The um, finale will be coming shortly. very soon. If, and, if, do you know um, what? I'm scared. I don't want to do it because because every time we start one of these records, <clears throat> both of us get more and more afraid to press play. No spoilers in the comments, please. Yeah, we'll but see. But do comment. Let us know what you're thinking. All right, we'll see you then. See you in the next one. I'm gonna go eat some ice cream. You need to go shave off that glittery beard. Oh God, it's so sad. I have enough. Okay. <laughs>